Hello, good morning. You're welcome to another wonderful class. This is business studies class. Last week we did treat some topics on typewriting, but today we're going straight forward to pra practical typewriting and alternative to practicals, where you can be able to solve questions on your junior work. Today I will be very happy if you pay more attention because this is your class start. I want to treat your class start today, and that's what I'm going to be do doing in your Google Doc. Uh, today's topic is a uh, keyboarding subtopic. I want to be looking at um, manuscript abbreviation and proofreading. It is an alternative to practical. So, learning objective, type of abbreviation in full. So, you can see you have this in your Google Doc. AC means account, amount, manufacturing, together, pay, can, Christian Association of Nigeria, all this you will see in the question. You are meant to write them in full. Let's go for that. Okay, types of abbreviation, abbreviated words in full words. Identify mistakes in manuscript and correct them. And this you are meant to do while writing your manuscript. Remember, the manuscript is what is being written by hand. As a typist, you are meant to what? To write it and do the correction. Also, identify spelling errors in a manuscript. You are meant to do that while solving your task and correct them. Identify grammatical errors in the manuscript and also correct them. So let's go straight to the question. This is the question. And in the question, you'll be using this answer that you have in your Google Doc. You'll be using this answer then. These are what will guide you to answering them. You can see them. I put everything in your Google. Let's go back. Okay. These are questions. You are meant to type this afresh. Now, for those of you that cannot type it, you can write it down. Use a pen to write it down and snap it. I will also mark it. Okay. You are meant to type it. Let's start from the beginning. What do they mean here? If you go back to the one I've shown before, it means this should be typed in capital letter. Cap here means it should be typed in capital letter. You get it now? Now we get it now. Remember that this sign Y means insert. Insert. If you go back from here, you see it. Y means insert. Can you see it here? Insert. Insert. And inside the sentence, you will see this sign here. Let's go back again. Insert. Let's look at second line. Insert. Second line. What do we insert? What do we insert? Insert here. And what are you meant to insert here? Can you see the top? S. S. Insert S there. Let's go here. Okay, let's look at this part of it. U N U C upper case. Upper case. Where I want to effect it? Upper case. Okay, we'll get it here. It means the eyes should be in capital letter. Please while some your tax, please take good care of all this and attentive very well. Okay, let's look at this now. NP means new paragraph. So while typing. You don't put or start a new paragraph here. You break it down here. If you're using your typewriter or you're using your computer, you press enter key. Enter key. Enter key without bring it down here. You send a paragraph down here. This means state. Let it stand. Let it stand. So let's look at this sentence here or this word here. I'm printing the first one, I cancel it, and I wrote the second one again, I cancel it. Okay, where we have it? This dot, 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 dot. This is the one that should start. And this should be, should be the word that should be written here. Let's come down here again, which one we have again? Okay, transpose. This word means transpose. I gave you this in the tax. Transport, and most of you don't get it. Transpose. This is the sign for transpose. Transpose means that, let me take the word, trade agreement between the transpose, seller and the buyer. Are you with me now? Between the seller and the buyer, not the buyer and the seller. You bring this here, take this here, between the seller and the buyer. Let's, the last one here, 
the user of credit sales has increased greatly. What we want to do here to close the space, to remove the space. And there's no space here. The one thing to remove the space, what do you do? You just press your wall, your space bar to create a gap here. That means this space, a space should be created. Create a space. You see, they're joined together. They are joined together. So you need to create a space here and break it up. That's what they want. Sorry, please. Here. And break it up. That's what they want you to do. So it creates it. So that's what I want to do. And this is your tax. Please kindly do it and turn it up. And this is going to be your guiding instrument. Please do it and send them in. God bless you and have a nice time.